Hey, it's Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vibe. The Carolina Panthers just finished up day three of OTAs. Hope you guys can hear me well. I wasn't feeling good, but I made it. But in the process of getting here, I left my microphone. So I'm going to read from my notes so I can make sure I tell you guys some of the information and observations from today's OTA. So the first thing I want to get into is Kelvin Benjamin, which there's been tons and tons of talk about Kelvin and being overweight. And coach actually kind of brought that on, or he definitely brought that on when he mentioned it a few weeks ago. But in talking about Kelvin today, he mentioned that it seems like the criticism towards Kelvin has been a little unfair. But I think it's ironic because he's the one who started it technically about Kelvin and his weight. But he's been looking pretty good. He's, he's seen his cut, and he told the media today that a uh, catch was made yesterday that we didn't get to see. That was pretty good. So he's very happy with seeing where Kelvin is right now, which to me tells me the message got out. It did what it's supposed to do, so he's happy about that. Uh, no show today. Devin Funches was uh, hurt his ankle yesterday, so he wasn't in practice today uh, because of that. Just taking her time with that. Julius Peppers wasn't out. Kind of a veteran thing there, easing him along. And uh, James Bradbury was a noticeable that wasn't even at the facility today, but for a very good reason, as he has his, I believe, sister, but it's definitely an immediate family member that is graduating. So uh, a few other notes is he meant to talk about Captain M Mutterland being happy that he's here. He's actually mentioned he's happy that Mullins here and Peppers is here to replace some of that veteran presence that was lost with Harper and, and uh, Allen that have gone in years past. But he said Captain is still having to make some adjustments to get used to everything, getting getting used back to the Carolina way, but he has no doubt that he's going to continue to do that. And uh, lastly, the new kicker. So talked about the new kicker who was kicking some field goals today during OTAs and said the one thing that that guy still has to do is get used to the bigger ball and the NFL and, and find that sweet spot, which he said he hadn't quite gotten used to yet, but he can certainly tell that he has a big leg and uh, that's something that he feels like that race with him and Gano will heat up doing LTAs once they have a chance to really get used to the, the bigger ball, the snappers and all that that has to go on. So for all you that are watching still, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the video, leave any comments and questions below. This year, I'm doing something new, so if you're a YouTuber out there and you're talking about the Carolina Panthers, I'm going to invite you to be on the show this year. So uh, contact me and let me know if you're interested in doing that. And as always, subscribe to the channel because we're going to have interviews with players. I had Coach Coleman today. I can only have it up for one day. So if you don't subscribe, you won't get the notice and you'll miss it. Chris Jenkins from Bank of America, Practiceville for Charlotte.com.